good morning so welcome to real programmer channel so here we going to discuss about how you can upload multiple pictures in laravel line right so what i have done i have already created which is the laravel line multiple image upload right so here you can check we have um, the options like a first one second one we can remove this one as well also we can add the multiple right so this functionality we have done properly this is working right so if you're gonna to see how this is working so we need to do some strip right so first of all i'm expecting you have uh, knowledge about the how you can install the laravel line if you don't know how to install laravel line how to uh, inst install composer and related things right so what are the what what you can do you can go to my real programmer channel and also you can check out i have already uploaded um, I uploaded Laravel 9 tutorials right and also if you want to learn the previous version 8 7 6 something you can check out the previous version right Laravel 8 and Laravel 8 series right so now what we can do here uh, we because we have created a separate things right so and also uh, suppose I am giving any uh, example and any tutorial so you can check out from my blog also which is the, the realprogrammer.com right I will give you this link in the description area so also you can check out from the link right so so hope so now you can see this right let me show the real example uh, I have some pictures I'm gonna upload the pictures right and uh, how the functionality working I will explain you everything step by step so no need to worry about right so let's see so what I have done first of all we need to install the Laravel 9 version so if you don't know how to install you can check out right so first what the things we need to install the Laravel composer you need right on PHP uh, more than 8 right so so we is compulsory to install the PHP 8 version otherwise you have the previous version like a 7 or 6 something what will happen if you if you are going to run composer command this will be install Laravel previous version like a 8 7 6 something right so first of all you need to keep in mind you have set up proper which is a PHP 8 version right then what we can do after the this uh, successfully command then we need to run the composer command for the create projects right so what we're doing here uh, we installing the com using composer right and the here in last you need to put the your project name suppose you're going to make a, any CRUD operations or any other uh, project name so you can put the last one is your project name so once you successfully done this then you need to configure your database and before the configure database you need to create a one database right so suppose uh, if you're going to create a database we have put it something name right then you need to configure from the dot env file right we have dot env file and inside of the dot env file you need to the configurations like this way right and uh, here we have a db connection which because we using the mysql database connections that's why i put it the mysql if you're using any other so you need to put there right and host name we have already which is a local host and we have the port number we have the database name and second things also the root and your username and password right so this way we need to put the credentials right and uh, so once you successfully um, done this con uh, connection so what we can do um, we need to check the con once we have done the configuration thing then we what we can do um, then uh, we need to uh, run the migrations command for the creating a database things right so we have a migration i will show you how you can run the command right here migrations because of we are using the file name so that, that's why i put it the file name only right so let me show the block right so look we have the model we have created a separate model for file especially right so uh, once we created the model like this way right uh, 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 image path we need to update inside of the migrations right this is for the migrations and once we have a created model also and uh, then we need to run the migrate and here in model uh, also we can add like this right um, because of the fillables uh, might be some issue is there i will show you uh, this uh, this file you need to keep in caps later okay i will change this because this is wrong practice okay so once we have it done the successfully in the migrations command and also the file name is here i said right the app uh, f is cap caps right so once you successfully done and also the m 
the m is models which is the caps letter right so once you successfully done this okay the class name and function it is and functions name like we are already setting the cell uh, attributes value whatever we have and we setting in the inside of the suppose we have the json permit then we adding here like a um, object and array right so here just uh, scroll down and we have the more uh, which is a route web.php file so let me open the file okay so where is the web.php you can check inside of the routes and we have the web.php inside in every uh, level 8 or 9 we can consider suppose if you call uh, if you want to call your controller right so we can use this way right uh, before this we need to uh, write more code but uh, not exactly because uh, here uh, because we we need to this use this first of all whatever class we have we need to define like a namespace something right so we are using this way and uh, once you successfully this uh, done this line then what you can do you need to add like a class name and the functions name right so this way also we need to what we're doing here we have a method like a get and post because uh, we're not using the correct kind of thing so that's why i put it only get and post some things right so Oh, so this is clear for you and uh, so once we have done the get method and post method if anyone hitting inside the your url name and uh, image then what we're doing what we are only uh, running the view part right is a, is a blade.php and second uh, same functions also we have created for the post and what we are doing here we calling the store method we calling first of all the uh, create and then we calling for the store right so this way we're doing and uh, let me open the uh, file which is the file uh, controller.php right so here you can check the namespace we already defined and request whatever requests are coming so we are using this way okay and third things we have model right so that's why we put it here like uh, this way we need to define the model whatever model we are using right uh, and then we have a controller which is a file controller this file controller extending uh, the controller right so we have a method like a create and store right we discuss about already so once we calling the uh, returning the view which is the image upload uh, image upload basically dot a blade dot php file right so we returning this file basically uh, loading this file right then uh, let me uh, explain you about the store method also what we're doing here we validating first of all right uh, whatever request we have so we have given the options like a required also if you want to something put there also we can do that right and files name we have and uh, here we have the files name like a if we have the multiple things so also we can using for the image purpose only right so then uh, we have uh, the files because of the one time can be one then more right or more than two more than three something sometimes right so what we're doing here we're using the request we have the hash file is the name then what we're doing here we're running the loop right so whatever request have as per the request we are uh, running our loop and here we are also uh, time then random functions we are using because the random we want to random file name not exactly the file but uh, we want to random file that's why we put it the different way so and also the extensions we're getting here and we pass and moving the directly the inside the public path uh, i will show you where the file file exactly going right so we are moving the all files to public underscore uh, sorry public path right and uh, the name also we have like this way we're using and why why we're doing here because we want to store inside of our database also that's why i put it this way right and uh, here you can check we have a the file which is a model and this file we are using the name uh, we have because of this name we have that column also right and uh, whatever data we have we are storing this way and uh, we uh, storing the right and here suppose if we returning any message kind of thing so in laravel we can use the sessions right so this way because of the success uh, you can consider like a variable all value is storing inside of the, this uh, right this uh, column so second means then uh, let me show the my blade dot php we have already successfully created so what we're doing here i have added here like a jquery things and bootstrap right and uh, now you can check we have the body inside the body we have created a jumbo box and break and the container we have right so inside the container uh, i just given the options if uh, error occurs then what we're doing here the way uh, loading or whatever errors we have with the predefined things in uh, laravel so that's why i put it there right 
and also if we're getting the success uh, message in sessions we're storing and we're returning the success message right and just scroll down uh, we have a form here right inside the form don't forget to put the csrf for the security reason we need to put the uh, CSR, uh, csrf if you don't know what is a csrf exactly let me know i will explain you in better way so you can keep in mind in future way right so one second we have a uh, input tag inside the input tag i put it the name like this way because we have the file names and we need to upload the multiple files that i put it the in array and uh, we have add and same for the we have uh, remove right so this way we can do that and uh, suppose if anyone hitting this when what we're doing here we are uh, using this this uh, lines of code we next time right now we cloning this way uh, this complete div right so and here we have a button suppose and here you can check we have the uh, if document dot ready functions because we are using jquery and uh, then if a uh, button dot success the click then what we're doing here we are uh, taking the clone class and uh, right and after this what we're doing here we are incrementing after the uh, this uh, variable we have a given options which is the clone we getting all deep completely right so after that what we mean we increment in these things right and same uh, if body is there then what we're doing here, we're removing the uh, which is the real uh, pro code something we have a given options let me show you uh, let me search this one right here we have a complete div right so we're removing this one by one some things right this way we are removing right so we are using this way and uh, if you have any kind of doubt in any video you want let me know definitely i will try to make another video also guys if you are looking any good hosting and domain plan you can go to domainregister.com and you can select here whatever plan suitable for your business like uh, if you are the student you can go for the basic plan and uh, personal plan and silver plan all all plan having the different uh, small small kind of things different and also if you don't know which plan suitable for you you can talk with them they will guide you and uh, 24 into 7 support basically they have right and also cloud hosting if you need and any reseller hosting any other details you needed uh, you can talk with them and uh, this is my personal experience that i'm sharing and also do not forget to subscribe my channel and you can check out my channel i have uploaded the more videos like uh, any programming re which is related node shares and laravel uh, python right so google cloud computing aws or any things you want from my side definitely i will create for you but you need to put inside the descriptions area whatever you need and uh, thank you for watching this video do, do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you